Hi, right, buenos dias, mis amigos. All right, so I want to show you irrefutable proof that the Antichrist is the Pope in Rome. All right, and I'm going to make this real easy, real simple. So in Daniel, we read about four kings until the end of the world. All right. In Daniel 7, verse 17, these great beasts, which are four, are four kings which shall arise out of the earth. Okay, Now, if you understand Daniel, you'll know that after the fourth beast is the everlasting kingdom. So after four beasts, it's the end of the world. And then the fifth kingdom is the kingdom with a new heaven and a new earth. All right. Make no mistake about it. That's Daniel's prophecy. Four kingdoms until the end of the world. The first three kingdoms he mentions by name. And it's Babylon, the Medes and Persian, and the Greek or Grecia Empire. Alright, so we don't get a mention of the fourth beast of Daniel but he talks a lot about it all right so that fourth beast has to be the Roman Empire has to be we get a huge clue in Luke chapter 2 verse 1 and it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed so Caesar Augustus the Roman Emperor had power to tax the whole world. So there we go. Bingo. That's our fourth beast. All right, this is after the Greek Empire. So it's the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire is the fourth beast. No, you can't dispute that. All right, you have to accept that. You really do. And then we read in uh, Revelation 17, for example, the beast that was and is not and yet is alright now the clear explanation for this very simple the beast that was is the Roman Empire and is not and yet is that is simply talking about the transition from the physical empire into a spiritual Empire. All right. So the Roman Empire transitioned into the Roman Catholic Church. And so when Daniel talks about the fourth beast or the fourth king, if you will, he's talking about the Pope. And then, of course, we can make many parallels with the fourth king of Daniel with the uh, um, you know, First um, Thessalonians uh, four, I believe it is. Uh, there's all kinds of comparisons all throughout the Bible, but there's no mistaking about it. The fourth king of Daniel is the beast of Revelation, which is the Roman Empire. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it on this uh, last verse here. This last, I want to share one more verse. Who shall oppose and exalt himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he as God. Second Thessalonians 2, way off, okay. Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And of course, uh, the Pope is not God, but he presents himself as the representative of Jesus Christ on earth and that's he's not if anybody is it's you okay and then of course um, um, we got parallels in the book of Daniel we could not do it this way here Neither shall he regard the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard 
any God, for he shall magnify himself above all. All right. So this this is a parallel to he, he shall oppose and exalt himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. For he shall magnify himself above all. And I mean, once you see it, it's it's uh, as clear as day. It really is. Uh, but there's so many false teachers out there. Uh, and just, you know, a lot of people just don't have eyes to see.